Hello and welcome to another episode of Remote Pair Programming. I have uh, with me Tom Oram. So if you could please um, say a few words about yourself. Hi there, I'm uh, Tom. Uh, I'm working in London at the moment. Um, I'm a very sort of strong, uh, I don't know, software craftsmanship kind of minded developer, um, always into you know, trying to improve and produce the best code and think about things carefully that we can and also how we make the environment that our developers working in mm -hmm. um, better and more productive. So um, both the, the technical side the, and the code side and also the, the people side of things um, is what interests me. So I really look forward to Pairing and writing a bit of code with you. <laughs> Thank you. So I'm Adi, as always, your host. I'm programmer, trainer, and coach at Mosaic Works. Um, and today we're going to try something that's a bit different, mainly legacy code. Um, so we have the trivia game. Um, uh, we we are using um, um, Zoom to to show the the screen and prob we'll try to do some um, uh, some back and forth with this code and also to switch pairs in a remote way. Um, so, what do do we want to use uh, taking baby steps like as a timer, or what would you like okay, to try? So, um, I've never tried that with mm -hmm. a timer, so. Uh, I'm keen to, keen to give it a go. Um, uh, yeah, if you fancy that, I'm up for it. Yeah, or we could just try it out and see how it goes like that. Okay. As you like it. Sure. Yeah, okay, let, let's just try the code. So you have, you said you'd like to, to start to run the code like that, uh, to, to make it nicer from the beginning. Yeah, yeah so I've just imported it into the IDE. Um, I ran it and saw that it ran. Um, and there's just a just a few little things, a few extra spaces and things in here, which I think just make it, you know, a little bit harder to read. So I think the first thing that I want to do is just lean on IntelliJ to um, reformat the code in its in its style, and that would probably be the first commit. Mm -hmm. um, and then and then start looking at the code. I guess the the one thing that sticks out at me quite obviously is that we've got like all the the printing in amongst all the, the logic here so that's obviously something that needs to be extracted out i think yeah and obviously we've got everything jammed into one class here so there's a there's <laughs> a lot of potential here <laughs> oh yeah for sure okay so then, let, um, then let's start with the formatting okay so There we go. So I'll just commit that. It's not a huge one. Um, do you want to start with also having a kind of end-to-end um, -end integrated test characterization test with the code or would I you like to start given, only with smaller tests given the fact that we've got no tests at all we need to start somewhere yeah um, yeah i mean we want to be sure that we don't break it yeah so so but um, we could just try to, to test a, a smaller method um and and refactor that out or okay. we could just test the whole thing uh, there's a, um, a file called runner or like something like that, trivia runner um, and game runner, yeah. And then here you, you can see how to, to run it. Typically, I here you can use golden master. Okay. Um, yeah. So okay. we give some inputs, outputs, we record the, in the pair input and output and give it out, I don't know, 10,000, 12,000 tries of the game. We record the inputs and the outputs. 
uh, we steal the input from, uh, the output from the console uh, so we don't change the code as well uh, at all and um, and then we just use that as a safety net so that would be one option another option is just to try to to write characterization tests on, on methods yeah so um, the so it depends are we going to put a timer on this no no, no. I don't okay think so um, in which case the golden master might be an interesting way to start out mm-hmm um, how would you recommend we do that? Do you just spew out a load of random numbers and save that as a as a big array, and then well, yeah, feed that in. Yeah, I mean the thing that varies here is the role, sure. and we can get exactly if we get like something five thousand, ten thousand random numbers to roll, uh, and then we we test for coverage. We'll see if we have enough tests. Okay. Um, do you want to drive that first bit? Yeah. Yeah. Please. Uh, so I've just pushed that one up. Mm -hmm. um, now where is your screen? Let's see. What we'd like to do is to have the game runner. Hmm. So I'll just copy this. So I'll just copy this. Okay, okay. And then here, not a winner. Or what's not a winner? Was that defined in the class rather than the method in yeah. the game runner? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now, what I'd like to do is to be able to assert. If I would ju just do one test, what I want to, to, to be able to do is to assert um, a certain text that comes yeah. from the console so expected win well, no well in fact expected recorded message and then I have an actual yeah. so okay. th this one I haven't done this in a while <laughs> this one should come from a repository or a file or something like that okay so that would be golden master read next something like that okay And yeah, I'll create this one. And I'll create this one. And the actual, the actual should come from the console. So I don't know, I should have something like console reader read. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, I'm just, no, I'm just making right. up the oh, class. Yeah, got you. yeah, okay. I'm just making up a bit of scaffolding. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this should be somewhere at the top. And. This is the actual okay. set in. That's it. So system set in, and I need an input stream. 
I'm a little bit wary of changing windows here after those problems we had earlier. And uh, that should be a new... Uh, I think... Well, Java and streams, you know? It's always complicated. Yeah. <laughs> so you can... Uh, what can I do? And if I remember well, I need a buffered uh, input stream. Yeah, that sounds about right. And this one needs something. Come on, how do you do this? Input stream. Hmm? And I need something like a memory stream. Okay, here we go. Um, you want me to share this? So, what, what have you got? You've got an input stream, buffered stream. So, the one here um, that I'm looking at, somebody's. Oh, this is going to be easier to share the screen, really. Oh, I can stop sharing. Uh, or do you just want to pop open the link in a in a browser? Okay. So, uh, yeah, this one's pretty straightforward. So here we're talking about having a byte array output stream, mm -hmm. and then setting me out with a new print stream oh yeah that. it was a print stream yeah so this was byte array uh, so that's byte array output stream oh, i've lost your screen and then sorry i can't see see your screen anymore hmm. Okay, I see you. Okay, now you should see the the screen as well, the code, right? Yep. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, so we've got a byte array output stream, so we want to capture that into, or oh, set that as a variable. Now, so the print stream doesn't go there. Um, it's just constructed with no constructor arguments. And then system dot set out with new print stream and then the byte array stream is passed in so i say right. set out set out set out that's new print stream that's new print stream and that takes the stream from above the the input stream yeah okay and the input stream is byte array output stream uh yeah that that input stream uh to the left there the type of input stream is wrong what what's this here yeah that just byte array output stream again all right So now right. this one. And we should be able to. We write it to. Or we can do to string. I guess so. Okay. Um. Do we need to call that set out before we start writing out? Yeah. And then the input string afterwards. So I don't think that's going to work on yeah. its own, is it? Yeah. So we need something like start con. Uh, I don't know. Starts uh, reading from console. And 
And then this one that needs to be extracted to a static. Level. Yeah, I don't know if I would use should I use static or not. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not use static. Okay, so this is at the input stream. And I'll initialize it here. And yeah, I'm using it here. And I think here I need to do uh, flash. No? Yeah. That's just you know, the exception. Mm -hmm. So that means that here I need to have an instance. field I'll have a before come on and I'll say so reader Make a new console reader, and here I need to do console reader start reading from console. Then I'm doing stuff, and then I'm taking this out. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so if I would do this instead of random. I'll just I'm do this with one. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah, sure. I was going to suggest that we might just want to use random, but we could just seed it with a, yeah. a fixed seed. But let's let's start with one first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just wanting to, I just want to do something else that in the beginning, uh, the first time we run the tests, we need to record. Yeah. Um so Obviously, the tests won't pass, and we need to do to write. And here we need to write um, to write what? To write the um, the actual. And no, this is um, no. But we need to write the seed. Okay. And the actual. So this is a a tuple. Yeah. That we need. Yeah, I know it's indented, but I I just like you to create the method, please. Oh come on, this is silly. Uh, the seed is an integer, I think. Sure. And no, you don't want to do that, okay? Finally. Is that an integer uppercase I or is that just a lowercase I? It was a uh, uppercase, I think, here. Uh, yeah. yeah I don't know. Need to do it. Yeah. I think that's enough. Yeah. Okay, so that means that here we need some data structure populate it and this one we need to take it from we need to randomize the seed right what do we just not not want to fix the seed so 
Uh, we, we need to set the seed and then set the random uh, engine to mm -hmm. be seeded with our fixed seed. So I guess you know you remember better how to do this. Can you take over? Um, yeah, I, let me just. How do you want to do that? Do you want to? Uh, you just do share screen, and I'll just do some, I just do some push. In fact, I can do this. I can. Okay. I'll show. Do you, you want you to do this in? remote or? I, I can tell you it's it's very simple this bit. Okay. If you want to. So all you need to do is so move the seed up above the, the where the new random's created, pass the seed into random. Yeah. Mm hmm And and then the seed of one is fine, but it could be any number, but as long as it's fixed. And you should like that. Uh, yeah, but yeah. I'm not sure we should record this. No, we should record the, the roll. I think. Yeah. Well, well, what if we if we see the randomizer, then the this the um the random sequence is always going to be the same. So, I don't know if we need to record it. We just need to record the output. Yeah, but that, what if we randomize the seeds as well, or at least we cycle well, is, through more seeds do we need to though for 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 just one golden master to start with uh no for one for sure we don't let's let's run one and see like you say let's see what the coverage is when uh yeah okay so here we need um i don't know what to use what would you uh, suggest should we just write it to a text file text file okay Oh well, again streams. I love that. <laughs> yeah, indeed. I still love yeah. Python. File write. <laughs> ah, um, how do you do that? Yeah. It's um, memory. Okay. No, it's not a memory. It's a file. Output stream. You can do print writer. Or, yeah, or with a print writer is better, yeah. With a, so I do a print writer. Equals new print writer with the file name. Um, golden master txt. And then I think you need to have some values, some options. That should be fine there. It's just just the file name. Yeah. Mm, something's yeah. wrong. Is it, it? It might be exception again. Yeah. Okay. That's true. So then we do print writer. Right, and now we need to do something like uh, it's just just the string, right? In fact, you can instead of write, you can use um, print line. And just yeah, I was thinking to format oh, okay. the line. I'm yeah, we could we use the seed at all, given that the seed is just fixed for now. Why don't we just write the content for the first iteration? Okay. Uh, do I need? Can I? There's a method write line. Uh, it's print line. Oh, print line. Okay. So then, okay. Let's just do the actual. And here. I need to take this is a print reader no I think it was very different to read it anyway I'll extract this to a parameter no not a parameter to a field. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, okay, so now to read it, how was it? I haven't done it in such a long time. Can, there seems to be quite a nice way to do it with Java 8, which is files.lines. So it's a static method on files, so files.lines. Um, and then it seems that we just pass the path to it. Uh, but the, and this grieves all the lines, right? Yeah, but is that returning? What's what's that upset about? Is it the return type Usage of API document is there since. I don't get this. Mm. Oh, that's a stream. So I need to yeah. do. Two this. I need to reduce. Ah, okay, because it's. It's um, a list of strings, is it? Um, or what? Uh, Filter. I don't know. Okay. Um, What's the simplest way to do this? If we just two string it, that's not going to work, right? No, because I think it's a stream. So okay. I could try out, but I don't think it will work. Yeah, you're right. Hmm. Okay. Do you have any other? Yeah, there's another one here. Let's go for this one. We'll we'll come back to it another time. Um. So you can you can do string. So you can capture it into a string, and you want um new string. So stream a string. String yeah. So string. Uh, sorry, new string. So return new string. Okay. And then as the argument go for files dot read all bytes. Sorry, no, inside the, the constructor arguments for string. Files. Dot read all bytes. And then give it the path. Oh yeah, that was a thing because read all bytes is um yeah, that was another option. It's true. And if you need to return that. Uh, yeah, probably I don't have. I think it was set on Java something older. Uh -huh. And what's your problem now? Path? Oh, okay, so he needs a path. So paths dot get. Huh? Oh, oh. Paths, plural, S on the end. Oh, it's paths, okay. And now there is an exception, probably. Okay, we still need to return that. Yeah. Okay. Java is so simple. <laughs> So Once we get past this, we'll be all right. <laughs> yeah, I know. Streams in Java are awful. Okay. This for sure won't work the first time I run it, so I'm just going to comment it out. You're running that now? Yeah, I'm running it now. 
No such file. Um, do we need to create it? Where are you reading it? Are you reading it at all at the moment? No, but I think the problem is that in the moment I create it. Uh, yeah, I am reading it. Should we just take that out for a minute? Um, yeah, see, what? the console dot read is is before the right. So if you just just comment that read line out, and I think we'll be okay. Oh yeah, because I don't. Oh wait. Oh, <laughs> okay. So just set actual to our our console output for this one. So the actual. How's that? Reads oh, from console. the console. That's fine. Okay. Uh, the one, the other one, shouldn't happen. Uh, this. There one. we go. That one. That's the one. Yeah. Okay. And now. Do we have a file? I think so. Well, we'll check it automatically now. Now we won't write anymore but we will just read and now you can re-enable the read at the top I, I did that okay um, so that's the actual that hasn't read it but the expected uh, Okay. Possibly. We print line. Flash. Close. Possibly, yeah. So let's go back. I'm going to comment that. I'm no. keeping the reader, I'm commenting the assert. Okay. This is weird. Okay. Yeah, so now I have it. Um so come on. And comment out the reading. Um, yes, show it to me. Oh, here, sorry. Okay, that looks the same. So the Is it going to be a new line at the end? Maybe instead of print line, use print in the... No, but here is something... No, look, it's here, line 920. Oh. Yeah, line 120 is different. So there's a new line in our file. It's, it's because in our... Um, uh, Golden Master Writer. We use print line. We should have just used print. Okay. Um, we could just, yeah, update that. But also, we could just delete it in the file. So if I do this, I think so. Okay, <clears throat> and then run it again. Uh, you'll need to write it again first. Or you could, you could just edit the file now and delete the last line manually. Uh, delete the first last line. Just go right onto the last line and hit backspace once, hopefully. Okay. Really? 
this is always funny. So. Oh. Oh no! I think I. I. Did you delete? Did you delete the last line? Yeah, I. Output? I, I oh, deleted no, I just the meant output. delete the new line character at the end. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Let's let's write it again. It should it should work if we write it again. It's evening. That's what happens when you write code at this moment. <laughs> So don't do this home, don't write production code at this hour. Uh, okay, so if I run it now it should regenerate my file and now commenting it out if I run it I should be able to see it working yay so now yay. if I run with uh, coverage I have 75% 70, on class 83% on methods 81% on lines which is good yeah. for one test. Yeah. Uh, let's look here. Uh, Nothing called the master in game. So is playable is not even being called. So of course it's not tested because no one is using it. <laughs> so it makes sense. Right. Uh, <laughs> then. What else? That's pretty good. Yeah, so around here with ask question, we may we're missing some sure. some things. So as long as we don't refactor ask question, I think we're fine. Yeah, yeah all the others are fine. Right. So I, I guess we could create another master from another random seed to try and increase the coverage, but from my point of view, I think we've we've got enough coverage there to do some extracting of the... Yeah, I think so. Be covered. So I'm going to stop sharing so that you'll be able to, to start sharing. Um, I, I was going to say, shall I remove the idea stuff, but it's not going to do any harm, is it? Yeah. Um, we probably should, right? <laughs> yeah, I think. I'll leave it. Oh no, hang on, it's causing problems already here. Mm. Um. Ashed. Ignore as well, then. Good. So, um, we have a test, um, which is our golden master test. Uh, yeah. Uh, should I read? Uh, let's just rename that for good practice. <laughs> yeah, I forgot about that. And also the name of the test, the true is true, that's just silly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, should we, uh, 
nice, nice name. Um, uh, yeah, you know. It's uh, it still. It behaves like the golden mask. Uh, yeah. Behaves like does it? It it. Um, Underscores or camel case? Do yeah, I don't one? mind. The output. Okay. I should run it to be sure. Just happened there. Oh, that's the sun test is removed. Um, 